everyone, my name is Forrest. Thanks for tuning in to my channel's first official video. This video is all about the flick. Let's dig in. Before we get too deep into this video, please be aware I am a foil fencer and coach. If you want any Sabre or Epe videos, please comment below. Let's start off with the most basic of flicks, a flick to the shoulder. If you want to land a flick, the key is the height of the hand and the wrist. If I allow my wrist, my hand, to drop too low during the flick, it's likely it's going to land flat. But if I have my hand high enough, I can create a flick because I have a proper angle to drop the tip down. You really have to make sure that you push the tip directly down. I like to say this is a hammer. You're not trying to hammer in a flick. You're trying to use a quick flick of the wrist, literally, to get the flick. A good flick is 80% technique and 20% strength. The shoulder flick is not the only flick. Very useful is also the flick to the chest, or the flick to the flank. For those, it requires the same exact thing, the proper angle of approach. You have to approach the target from the outside in with the wrist, the hand position, from the outside, flicking in. If you go with your arm in, just like the shoulder flick, you're gonna hit flat most of the time. I just finished the warm up. Now I'm stretching before I begin doing a workout. We're going to go over some drills that are going to help you improve your flick.
Another reason why to flick with an outside angle with your wrists and hand is to get around your opponent's parries. If your opponent, let's say, has a small but appropriately sized parry four if you were coming directly at them, this would be a good time to maybe have a flick angle. You could, if you go on the outside with the wrist and hand, land a flick in the line that they're trying to close out. Now, if your opponent is going too far with their parry, you could easily feint to flick, they go too far, and then you could just line change with a disengage coupe, etc., and land in the more now open line. So if I go big, finish in shoulder, finish in flank with the direct hit. You don't even have to flick. But the threat of the flick is another tactical reason why you can use it. If I land one or two flicks, my opponent may think everything's a flick, and now they may start to counterattack. They may start to parry too wide. If they do that, I can feint to flick and then change lines to a very open, easy hit. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.